Okay, maybe too soon to declare victory, but even so, San Francisco Mayor London Breed and District Attorney Brooke Jenkins are doing just that. They say the votes so far show the voters have given interim DA Jenkins the role of the city's top cop. Here's NBC Barrio Sergio Quintana in San Francisco. San Francisco Mayor London Breed and District Attorney Brooke Jenkins toured a few shops in Chinatown to encourage people to visit during the holiday shopping season. But the silk robes and jewelry they browsed through weren't nearly as shiny as the smiles they have on this day after elections. In fact, San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins declared the race is over. At this point, based on the numbers, we are uh, at the point now where we believe we can declare a victory in this race. According to the latest tally from the San Francisco Department of Elections, Jenkins is ahead of her closest challenger, former police commissioner John Hamasaki, by nearly 19 points. But there are still 104,000 ballots left to be counted in San Francisco. In a statement, Hamasaki says he's not conceding, saying there are still over 100,000 voters whose votes haven't been counted. Declaring victory at this stage is disrespectful to the voters and our democratic system. Jenkins is still taking the victory lap and thanking voters who supported her at the ballot box. They truly understand, I think, that we can have both. We can have somebody who implements the necessary reforms that we need to to make the system more fair, but also still ensures that there is accountability for those who choose to commit crimes in our city. This walking tour of Chinatown is a chance for District Attorney Brooke Jenkins to savor the lead she has in her particular race. It's also a chance for Mayor London Breed to celebrate the performance of the people that she's appointed to open positions in city government. In addition to District Attorney Jenkins, five other Mayor London Breed appointees are ahead in their respective races, including Supervisor Matt Dorsey, three members of the San Francisco Unified School Board, and a community college board member. I think what it says is that people in San Francisco, they want us to work together. They want leaders to focus on the problems of the city. The last release of voting results from the San Francisco Department of Elections was late last night. The next batch of results will be released tomorrow, and the final results won't be certified for weeks. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.